Hey world, Andy here. I have had my very first video request. Um, a while back I did a review of my Oakley watch collection and someone had sent me a message to uh, ask if I would review my crankcase. So I want to give a little shout out to Villain214. He sent me the message saying how about, you know, showing that crankcase it looks pretty cool. So I'm going to do that for you today. First I'm going to show you the uh, Minute Machine again as a frame of reference. You know, it's a it's, it's a pretty large watch. Uh really cool looking. Uh you know, the band looks like, you know, tank treads or you know, bullets or whatever people say. Um and it's 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 my mostly everyday wear watch. I'll wear it, you know, four or five times a week. Um I cycle out with it with a few others. The crankcase is one of them. Um and that's the crankcase. You can see them side by side. The face is a little larger on the crankcase. Uh, you know, they both have you know your, your date in there and a chronograph and everything. Uh, whereas the minute machine is squared, the crankcase is round. The biggest difference is in the band. The uh, minute machine has this titanium band, and the crankcase has the unobtainium band, uh, which is Oakley's fancy word for rubber. Uh, and it does expand over time, and it really does you know, get a good fit onto your wrist. Uh, you know, you'd look at these two watches and think that while wow, that minute machine weighs a lot more, it really doesn't. It does weigh a little bit more, but it's just because of the band. But being that it's titanium and this is stainless steel, titanium is very, very lightweight and very durable. Uh, you know, the crankcase is, is also a great watch. You know, I'll wear it a lot. It's got the, the, the that type of clasp and it is adjustable. The one thing I'm not crazy about it is you have to cut the band to customize it. You know, I have a pretty big wrist and I had to cut like I think three or four pieces of this rubber. See how it's grooved in there. I had to cut like three or four pieces out, one or two on each side, to make it fit me. Uh, and there's really no going back. I mean, you can get another band for it if you want, but I think Oakley charges ninety dollars for one of those unobtainium bands. Uh, they make the crankcase in several different colors. This one is a sandstone face. It's actually very similar to the black and gray of my minute machine here. But I do believe Oakley has discontinued this watch. You know, I picked it up around last Christmas at OakleyVault.com. Uh, they had several, and, and I just I just chose this one because I don't have anything like it. You know, the bezel does rotate. Uh, you know, just just counterclockwise. Uh, like I said, it's got a chronograph date and time. It's a pretty pretty cool watch. It looks cool. Uh, feels good on your wrist. But. Uh, you know, that's that. That's two of my watches, and today I'm I'm wearing the whole shot. I just you know, grab one at random. So uh, I hope that answers your questions, Villain Two Fourteen. Uh, you know, keep checking out my YouTube channel. I'm gonna have more Oakley stuff down the line. I got some more glasses to show off later today, probably. But uh, anyway, that'll do it. Have a great day, guys.